I don't know what your dream is, but I know for a fact that you want to get started right away. However, you have so many buts. You might be scared, overwhelmed. You don't know what exactly do you want. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough money. You don't have your parents' support. Yada, yada, yada. In this video, I will give you a kick in your behind because I want you to take action and forget about all your buts. Continue watching if you want to get started on your dream and finally accomplishing more than you have ever done in the past. If you want to be a victim, then continue to postpone getting started and go watch Netflix and live your life through fictional characters. It's totally up to you. Also, at the end of this video, I have an amazing free workshop for you that will help you create the goals that you can actually make happen. Hello, hello, I'm Raspita. For those who don't know me, you can find me at raspitaherman.com and I help women just like you be successful in every area of their life. Happiness, health, wealth, and fulfillment. What stops people from getting started on their dream? Change. We all fear change because change is risky. You might fail, you might be judged, you might be disappointed in yourself, you might lose money, you might lose friends, you might even lose family members. So of course, we don't really like it. But without change, there is no growth. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you think people remodel their homes? Is it because they really want to have all that dusty, annoying situation for like two weeks and hiring people and maybe they're not going to do the good job, maybe they have to rehire others and maybe things don't start the way they should or maybe they cost too much in the end or all sorts of situations that appear during a remodel. Is it because of that? No, it's because we all love the comfort that a new brand new home will give us we want to increase our comfort so we're willing to go through that because at the end we'll enjoy the results of what we asked for the same applies with getting started on your dream the same type of fear the same type of risks the same type of cost most of the time the only difference is that remodeling a home is most more common because probably you know somebody who has done it or more people who have done it. But how many people do you know that have gone after their bigger dreams? Starting a business or starting a family or moving to a different country? Who knows what else? How many people do you know that have taken huge risks and changed their lives for the better? Probably not so many. Am I right? Let me know in the comment below if you know anybody and shout out to them because they're amazing and I'm happy that you have such friends who take huge risks and make their life happen. That's amazing. Okay, okay. So how do you change? What are, what are the steps to change? Well, first, you have to love change. You have to become in love with change. And now I want you to be really honest with yourself. Why haven't you started yet? Was it because you don't feel competent enough? I actually have another video on this topic with the whole roadmap to success and you want to check that out to see where exactly are you at on the roadmap to your success? Which phase? It will bring so much clarity. Most people say that they want to, you know, start a business, open a restaurant, whatever. But in reality, they do not want to do whatever it takes to get that dream going. It's just an wishful thinking, but not something that, you know, burns inside of them and that they will pursue no matter what happens in their life. Very few people have that fire burning and you need to find your fire. You need to find your why because your why will take you places that nothing else will. And I've written this in my book, You're Creative and Overwhelmed. You can, you know, check it out on Amazon. It's an amazing book to getting started on your ideal life because you need to have that fire burning in you before you actually take action in starting anything. 
If you don't have it, you're probably not gonna succeed. Truth. And your why can be like proving someone wrong or having fame or having a lot of money or it doesn't have to be something very philanthropic. I know we all want to hear that, oh my God, I want to change the world. It's okay if in the beginning you just want to make more money. That's a very noble goal. Don't be ashamed of it. Or if you just want more fame, it's okay. Start with what's going on right now. And if you want to be philanthropic in five years, do that too. When I started, I really want to make money because I didn't want to go get a job and have a boss. I wanted to be my own boss. And that was my why, to create something that I would love to do on a daily basis and make good money out of it and do it on my own time, deciding what to do, when to do it, and how much money to be paid for that. That was my why. Of course, now, after years of doing it, my why is really changing people's lives. Like, I make money out of it. I love what I do. I know how to do it. Now I just want to impact more people. So the why will change over time and that's amazing. So don't get stuck with that. Choose one that you really, really wanna, gives you that momentum right now. The second tip is create a list with all the things that you think you need to know. In this day and age, time is money. You cannot afford to waste five more years or two more years or even two more months, you know, just checking things out seeing what's available on Google or on YouTube and just testing the waters. If you really want to make it happen, then figure out what you need to know and go out there and find the best person in that niche to teach you. Of course, that you can afford. In the beginning, it might be somewhat cheaper, but as you evolve and you make more money, go for the best. Go for the best that you can afford. Stop trying to get free things and believe we're gonna build an empire on free things. That's not gonna happen. The moment you start to invest, that moment you actually tell the universe, I'm ready for more. I have faith that by investing this money, more will come back to me. The moment you go out there looking for free things, you're telling the universe, I don't believe I will make more money, so give me something free, because I don't think I will have money to pay for anything else. And guess what? you won't have money to pay for everything else. So you need to push yourself. You need to push yourself to invest something that is scary so you can make the money, so you can become creative to find ways to make the money back. That's the only way you will really, really grow in a short period of time. If you believe otherwise, well, I'm sorry, but you're living in your own bubble. And you might succeed, but it will take you at least 10 times longer than anyone else who invests and takes action and does whatever it needs to get done to reach their goals. And the third tip, and that's like really, really obvious, do one thing a day that gets you closer to your dream every single day. If you're not able to commit to that, then you're not going to be able to succeed, period, period. People who don't have time to do one thing a day that gets them closer to their dream, whatever that dream is, they won't succeed it. They just won't. You need to be committed. You need to be consistent. You need to have that burning desire that you will do whatever it takes, that you won't go to bed before you get, get your things done, that you won't go watch Netflix until you get your task done. That's how success is made. Did you like this video? Then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with somebody that needs to hear this message. and more security. I love change. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment below which tips surprised you the most. Did this video help you? Let me know. I'll love to know. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.